Okay, let's check this out again. Don't know what is going on. Don't know if it's something attached, like a fluke, or was she um, cut? But I know I need to get some um, antibiotics in this water. I think I'm going to start with some aquarium salt, a good water change. If anybody got any ideas what that might be, let me know. First time I've ever seen that. Hello, Goldie. The gold garami is the boss of the tank. Very, very territorial and, you know, kind of like selfish. Here's the beautiful male angelfish. Yo yo loach, paradise fish, opaline garami. His tail fins are growing back from being nipped by Goldie. But this tank seems to be doing well, except for my little moonlight garami. Definitely looks ulcerated. So, I think I'm going to do a 50% water change. Y'all help me out. And uh, add some aquarium salt. And see how that does. I know my plants are probably going to suffer from that. But right now I do not have any general cure or erythromycin. So I've got to order some. So that's the update on the 55. I went ahead and added some guppies over here because I don't think I have any shrimp left anymore. And I added extra filtration and it's just a snail tank. And the other 20 needed some relief of uh, stock anyway. So um, things are kind of, uh, the grass is kind of purling since I added the extra filter and um, female guppy looks like she's got a little bit of gill burn so I'm gonna have to change water everywhere anyway and then my poor little female angelfish over here she she needs I guess what they call a dither fish to make her feel a little bit better so I'm thinking about picking up some tetras my corridors are not enough to make her feel comfortable.